Hey everybody and welcome to the third episode of the Cross Gen Podcast. Hey hey. We made Yo. three. We've made three. So, um, just to get everything out of the way, if you love the show and we know that you do, don't forget to rate, review, and subscribe to this awesome podcast with two plus one. Two kids, one dad. Yeah? Yeah. Nine plus ten. Nine plus ten. Of What's That's nine so plus ten? Twenty one. Twenty one. So See, even okay. I know that one. And that now, like now riddle me this. Ago. What three, numbers three. are in twenty one? Two and one. How many kids I I mean how many sons That's are gonna, there? That's dead. Two That's and dead one. Already. And That's how many fathers already. are there? One. That's dead Conspiracy already. Conspiracy theory proven. That's do, do, dead. Do, 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 wait, wait, wait. Do, do, Can I say do. it? That's so dead. Illuminati confirmed. <laughs> That's dead. Oh, yeah. Stop. Oh, That's yeah. That's so dead. <laughs> By the way, thanks, guys, for listening in. Hi. How you guys doing? Hi. I mean, like, how are you guys doing? Not them. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. How are you guys doing? Get, 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 put your seatbelts on. It's, this is going to be a rough one. Oh, yeah. Oh. So we, we took, like, about five minutes trying to figure out what, these two knuckleheads wanted to talk about, right? Yep. And we went from movie endings to show endings to uh, Star Wars. Star Wars, and... which eventually we have to talk about, and yes. Star Wars video games, which eventually you, AJ, have to play because nice. you are the biggest Star Wars fan that I know that plays none of the games. <laughs> Right? Except for Battlefront. Except too. for Battlefront, because he loves Battlefront. He Bruh. kicks his he kicks everybody's butt on Battlefront. Force Unleashed is better. Force Unleashed is better. Yes, that's well, because you you're not good at Battlefront. Fallen Jedi or Jedi Fallen Order yet. I have which is okay, I'll, super I'll, I'll awesome. Bruh, I've I played that. And you I played AJ that. haven't played Knights of Republic Part Two that has your favorite Sith. Okay, because I can't get past Darth Darth Nihilus. Yeah, I think I've also played that too, or Knight of the Old Republic, the first one. The first one. Oh Which yeah, what's has... the first mission? I don't even remember. No, no, what's the first mission? No, 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 no. You can't say you played it if sure, you don't sure. even remember. Yeah, no. Anyway. I, I, I don't remember. Anyway. It's been a while, but I played, okay, never played all it. the games. I played all the games. Have you played uh, Republic Commander? No. Yes, we actually tried to do it, and it sucked because we tried to play split screen. And one split screen side was like totally horrible, remember? It was like so glitchy that you couldn't oh, even yeah, see yeah. me. I remember I played that. Yeah. Couldn't yeah. even see me because I was like the predator. And you know there was I like this weird play. yeah, there was this weird glitch where I was like stuck in a wall. I was stuck in like the I ground. did that. No, you didn't. I yes I Stop. did. No, you I didn't. I forced you into that wall and I kept you in that okay, wall. Okay, okay. The match didn't even start yet. Exactly. Oh, what better God. way to win a match by Forget putting it. you in the wall? Forget it. Forget it. Hmm. <laughs> All right, so we talked about we talked about doing Star Wars, which eventually we'll we will do, and eventually yeah. AJ is going to play some of the games, at least some. I played Jedi Academy, okay, bruh. That one is pretty good. Okay, Force Unleashed is better. And then, so we then talked about what else were we gonna what, what else were you guys wanted to talk about? What was that other stuff? We what? were gonna comics. talk about the Illuminati, which we did, and then yeah, Confirm. comics, <laughs> and then we finally arrived at our final talking point, which we're going to do today in this particular session at this point in time. So I'm going to warn our listeners ahead of time: <laughs> you probably won't hear me at all during this conversation because these two guys are gonna argue the entire time because they do it every night. Every night, as soon as we finish eating and they start doing their chores, cleaning the dishes and stuff like that, what do you guys talk about? What do you guys argue? No, you don't talk about. What do you guys argue about? Supernatural. What's the other thing that you guys argue about? Other things. <sighs> What's the other other thing that you guys argue about? Starts with D, ends in Dragon Ball Z, Super GT. Yeah. No, GT isn't even part of the franchise anymore. It's been disgraced. It was shunned. Okay, guys. Uh, I'll talk to you at the end of the podcast. Boys, go. I'm not even going to respond to that last comment. Dragon Ball, I watched, I will say this. I watched Dragon Ball before 
any of you guys did. Yeah, but you don't even remember it, so it doesn't even really count. I remember <laughs> some of the most important parts. What's final explosion? When the guy explodes finally. <laughs> right? I mean, he does have a point, though. He does have a point. That's Vegeta. Okay. Thank you. Hello. And I didn't even Google it for people. Does it ever happen again? Uh, No, it doesn't. Wrong. Tournament of power. I didn't see that part yet. You did. You did. You I did. did? You we finished watched Dragon it. Ball Super. He exploded himself? You weren't he watching. He exploded himself, but he didn't die like last Thank time. Thank you, but that's what I'm saying. But so he that's still blew not, up. That's but still that's, blew up. Okay, fine. Same but technique. When I think of final explosion, I, I think of X's on his eyes. He's dead. Who killed uh, Jiren's family or clan or whatever? Uh, I don't remember. I didn't watch all of the Tournament of Power. Remember, I started in the middle. I didn't watch the first part of uh, Dragon Ball Super. Okay. Who's Goku's father's father? No one knows the answer to that. Thank you. It's a trick question. Thank you. Just saying. I know who his father is. That's obvious. Who? Bardock. And he sacrificed himself every time and every single... It's all the same. What Vegeta is... Vegeta, but what? Number? What? I mean, what? you you understand what I'm trying to say, right? Yes. What number is Vegeta in the royal lineage? Oh, he is. I know he's got a Roman Roman number behind it. Roman Roman Roman, Roman number. It's easy. Numeral behind it's it. It's easy. It's so easy. Isn't it like five or six? Wrong. <clears throat> so close to it was four. It was okay. Three actually. I knew there was a V no, there. No, three is his father. King Vegeta. Okay. You know what? I'm whatever, whatever. I'm, ah, so you don't even know. I do know. Mr. Expert. Here is you the real trick know. question. Who yeah. is Gohan's father? Gohan's father? It's Goku. Wrong, it's Piccolo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't even understand that. Man spends half his time dead, and Piccolo is the only one who's offered. Any you true know what? I don't want to. I don't want to get into any of that stuff. <laughs> Come on, seriously. Goku is his father, and Piccolo is his dad. Okay, do you want to put it that way? <laughs> Come Real on, question. seriously. Hey, hey, hey. You Real little. Question. You literally had me thinking about paternity suits and <laughs> and stuff like that. Piccolo's gonna end up on on Jerry Springer. <laughs> With with Goku behind them, you're the dad. Oh gosh, I don't know. Anyway, who is the worst villain in Dragon Ball? Goku. Well, you know what? I'm not even gonna lie. There, he really is, especially in Super. Other than him, that is a shame because he's supposed to be the hero. Um, so is the Flash, but the Flash always finds a way to screw people's lives up. Yeah. Just saying. At least he doesn't do it intentionally. Um, <laughs> well, neither does Goku. He's just too dumb enough to to think yeah. about it. Well, he still did to... it very intentionally. Yeah. yeah wow. Like, remember that time where? Oh wait, you don't even know about that. Where he gave uh, Cell the Sensu Bean. Oh, the, oh, that is the best. I don't and remember that one. So, during the Cell saga, Goku eventually steps down and says. I give up. And so I was like, wait, what the hell? Why are you giving up? You're the only one worth fighting here. And he goes, no, I'm not. I'm going to send in Gohan. And so I was like, what? The world's strongest bookworm? Are you kidding me? <laughs> that's that's uh, Team Four Star rendition. I will admit, I, I didn't see the Cell Saga. So. That is one of the best. I know. I that know, is I know. not one of the best. Uh, yes, it is. What? Gohan yes, trying it to is. push back his Kamehameha for like an episode. No, no not like even not even that. Half. Cell as a villain was one of the better villains. No, that's not true. That's definitely not true. Oh yeah, and who's your better villain? Majin Vegeta. No. Jiren I because he know. was strongest. Majin Buu. Although he's not much of a villain no. now these days. No, no, no. No. So who? Broly. I like him. Broly's well, the best villain. 
Well, Broly, Broly, Broly is like the Darth Maul of Dragon Ball. Yeah, yeah, he's the best villain. He shows up one time, and then, well, he kind of technically shows up two times. Well, no, he kind of technically shows up three times. No, yeah, he actually kind of technically shows up four times. But really, the real technical yeah, the one time was the one time, which was the first movie. The second yeah. movie was ah. Eh, the third movie sucked, and but then even Super so. came. And made everything beautiful in the world again. Broly's the best villain. See, I Where'd categorize you know? my villains by ideological pursuits. So and what? Broly depth. Broly being mad at at Goku for crying and keeping him up. That's that not, is that's a not horrible, ideologically awesome. No, that it's not. Is. That is kind of super cool, if you ask. No, me. it yeah. is not. That is dumb. I mean, no. Think about it. The reason he hates Goku. Kakarot, him, yeah, is because the kid kept them up all night. It makes him seem no. like that makes the, the only sense to reason me. you can justify that being cool is because Goku crying reminds him of the traumatic experience of almost being killed by the King Vegeta with yeah, a knife. It, it makes them seem and like nah. that is it. no, no, no. Nah. It makes him seem like it's the berserker he, was crying. he is. That is so dumb. That no, but it makes him awesome. see, It makes him seem like the berserker he is. Yeah. He's so he's so berserk. That makes by the him fact a that... giant plotting baby. Well, nobody's perfect. Well, I mean, you do have baby himself. You want somebody to the you want somebody to completely rip on. That's At it. least it's he him. won. He didn't win. Oh yes, he did. Did he win against Super Saiyan Four Goku? But he won before that. He won against what? Super Saiyan Three Goku. Super Saiyan Goku. <laughs> Who? A reminder: He was in his kid form, so he's practically garbage. He's not even as strong as Super Saiyan. Two when Goku. he got the tail back, that fixed everything, and it was supposed that to fix everything. No, no, no. But Baby was still stronger. That makes him as strong as a Super Saiyan Two and Super Saiyan Three. No, it doesn't. Kind of does. Once he gets the tail back, he's basically back to normal at that point. And let me remind you, Super Saiyan 4 isn't even as strong as Super Saiyan God. So, he's not even powerful. See, someone you can, someone who I completely respect from GT's Omega Shenron. But then you have Baby, who's like, like, it's just... Nah. Shenron kind of seems like he should be tougher, though. Well, that's Except why have... he was killed in like the very first iteration of Dragon Ball, where everyone was basically throwing sticks and stones. Yeah, I know. That's why Shenron to me is a little disappointing, because I would tend to think that he'd be just a little bit stronger. But that's why you have Omega Shenron. And that's also why you have Super Shenron now. Yeah, but and... still, and he is considerably stronger. Well, GT GT kind of. GT kind of fixed that, but it wasn't enough, yeah, to be honest. Well, you know what? No. Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. That's basically as strong as... That made him powerful. That made uh, Omega powerful. No, that... that t- so, so, I, I'm not even going to get into power scaling with you. No. What? Because we have very different ideas about power scaling in Dragon Ball. Yeah, the difference yeah. is that mine is confirmed by facts. Yamcha is the best. Yep, that's a fact by Xenoverse. Xenoverse himself, they introduced super villain Yamcha, completely destroyed the whole gang. Me along with them. I was Super Saiyan Yamcha. three. I was I was trying to destroy him, but bro, that man is relentless. He's the guy in the the mobile game that dresses up in the baseball suit, right? The mobile game. Oh, DBL. Yeah. DB Dragon Legends. Ball, yes. Dragon Ball Legends. And He's his very power, powerful. his his baseball batting skill is pretty powerful. Yeah. He like bats it out of the park. He might be just one of the strongest characters in ever. I I I happen to believe. That Yamcha is holding back. If you could only see AJ's face right now. <laughs> so, just saying. Yeah. Yamcha. Yamcha. You know he's good. Yamcha. He's holding back Yamcha. his power like Shadow. I'm not Yamcha. dignifying these statements. Okay, I'm fine. not. But remember that time? What? 
Remember that time? I don't need to said, remember anything. Gogeta? You I said, don't need to remember anything. Bro, you said Gogeta was weaker than Vegito. Because he was. He was. Come on, I'm talking about Dragon Ball Super version. And I maintained that he was based on previous lore. Until Mr. I'm going to change my mind every freaking second the creator says oh no you know what he looks kind of cool in this movie he's gonna be stronger now he has right to do so he has right to do so that was only one time where they had to re-update a character it's re-updating that was never canon they said it's not called re-updating it's called updating yes it's called updating well no technically it's re-updating since they already introduced them into super dragon no it's called updating but it's like bro, double updating. Yeah, it's double updating. Because before he was never canon. Now they made him canon. So he didn't change his mind. Well, he did, but technically, if you put it like that, he has a right to do so. So, and there's no other time where he's changed his mind. I'm pretty sure. And you know what? The end all to be all is Broly's the best. Wait, wait, wait. I'm pretty yeah yeah okay pretty sure Akira did state it. Akira Toriyama, yeah, the creator of Dragon Ball, yeah. That Broly's the best. What's your favorite saga? Uh, Majin, that should be easy. Majin Buu. Awesome. Mine is the Baby Saga and the Shadow Dragon Saga. That's yeah. the one with Sunron, right? Yes. Mm. I just want to know, what exactly makes Baby good? I, I just want to know. I'm not going to rip on him or anything. So who's He's Baby? Practically... Explain Baby. Yeah. For the people that don't know who Baby is. So first, I need to make another connection. Cell on Earth is the result of taking cells from all the strongest warriors in the galaxy. Mm-hmm. I mean, in on the planet. Mm-hmm. It's on the planet. Baby is space cell, where instead you're not just taking cells from every being in on the planet. You're also drawing from across the galaxy. On top of that, he comes from what was considered a then extinct race called the Tuffles. So technically, I guess you can make the case that Baby should be stronger than sell. Oh, by leagues. Because yeah, by he's leagues. got he's got a bigger petri dish. Petri dish, yes. Thank yeah, you. he's by leagues, by leagues. Yeah. yeah very, still... very strong. And so the reason why I like Super Baby Vegeta. Yes. Because that is the form I like the most. We all know base form baby sucks. Wait, it looks su- weird. I like the adult version the one that's on your phone no that's super baby vegeta 2 you have super baby vegeta super baby vegeta 1 which is where he gets a little more ripped and starts growing out the i don't know those shoulder pauldrony things super okay. baby one is and then guy. you have super baby 2 which is which guy. is this guy okay so that's not your favorite guy no that is my favorite oh, that's one. That's what I said. That guy is your favorite guy. Yes. Okay. But there's also his adult form where he's not inside Vegeta anymore, but basically looks like that, but in his normative uh, state. Okay. See, I like Baby for his golden grade ape form. I thought that, that was so awesome. Well, how? 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 I like it was nice that. I, I like the the reason why I like GT so much is because of the depth that came with the Super Saiyan 4 transformation. It wasn't just, yeah. oh, I have to train a little more. No, you had to like do some deep soul searching for that. I, in addition, you needed to have the tail, which was good on expanding previous lore. The reason... I lost track going into lore. What were we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. You 
you know. Oh my god! In, in the trailer, it says we're gonna jump on the the podcast train. You just fell off of it. <laughs> he really did. Oops. <laughs> what, what was your question? Derailed. <laughs> Uh, it was about the guy with the tail. Yes, Super Saiyan 4. Yeah, that's why I like Super Dude. Saiyan 4 as a transformation. But we were talking about Baby. Baby, yeah. I didn't, Oh, we were talking about the ape form. So yes. what happens oh, in, in GT is, like I said, you needed to have a tail in order to reachieve the ape form, which would then get you to Super Saiyan 4. But since Vegeta doesn't have a tail, because he's had it cut off ever since Dragon Ball Z in the Saiyan saga, he has to find another way to transform into the Great Ape. So he has Bulma rig up this super duper Blutz Wave cannon to shoot him that was... up with Blutz Waves, which is what triggers the. Uh, the great ape transformation because those are like stored in the tail. It's a whole chain reaction. Yeah, mm. you know the I weirdness of problem. Dragon Ball. You know I have a major problem with that. Okay, so you have a major problem with that, but some guy comes, eats a fruit, and is powerful. That no, that's much a, better. That's the tree that of too, life, except, though. Except, the tree of life is built for that. Wait, isn't that? Tree, tree of, of might. might. Tree of might, I mean. Yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> tree of might. <laughs> yeah, but... But it gives you life that translates to might, so it's the tree of life that ends up being the tree of might. Anyway. Even so, I like how it's like evil Goku. That's what we have Goku Black for. Uh, yeah. There's too many evil Gokus Goku in Goku Black the world. is better. I'll give you that. But I like how it's... It keeps it original. But that's another saga game. I really like. The Super's Future Saga. My only problem with that is that they introduce Vegito too much. I'm just saying. I'm literally just saying. You know why I have a problem. He with has it. a hate fest for Vegito. No, I don't have way. a hate fest for Vegito. I have a hate fest for the people who like Vegito. Only because why? they're always saying, they're always yelling, oh, Vegito, please. Vegito, please. Vegito, please. Everybody literally. knows Gogeta's the best. Not I everybody, mean, apparently. I don't call for Vegito like that. It's just nice to see him. But yeah, that's that's the thing. Literally everybody I remember watching the Dragon Ball Legends what? Oh yeah. So the... Dragon Ball Legends did a bad thing apparently. Where in the movie they okay, so first of all they decided to add a new animation because when whenever you do a summon to get new characters, they have different animations to tell you or maybe give you a hint at what you're gonna get next. Mm-hmm. So what they and what they decided to do was they decided to add Broly, uh, Super Broly, as part of the animation cycle, and that would basically tell you you got a new? really relatively new, yeah. yeah. Oh, I got to start playing again. It it was um, you don't, it's really it. hard to get. I've never gotten it. I have once. Ma- of course, you have Master ones. Pack too. So. <clears throat> Normally, when you get that summon, you you get a, a really, really good type of card called Legendary Finish. Guaranteed, oh, more or less. Sometimes. Sometimes. Well, no, it's most of the time. Eh, I'm, I'm, I'm starting up Dragon Ball Legends right now. You don't now. even really get good stuff from that from that summon animation. You might just get a bunch of sparkings that you don't really even, really even care about. Uh-oh. Might Uh-oh. get a featured. Look, look, look. But it okay. all depends. So downloading, downloading the. So here's the thing. The thing. Mm-hmm. They decided to add the Broly from the movie, but right. apparently their error was that instead of having Goku and Vegeta fuse into Gogeta, they ended up deciding to plug Vegito instead to fight Broly. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, you know, I honestly just. So, okay, I'm sorry. You nah. honestly just what? I think that DB Legends has complete hate for Gogeta. Let me let me just put it to you this way. You might not believe me, and you might say I'm exaggerating it, but but oh, here. I got a daily login bonus. Oh yeah, eh. who's the boss they now? They don't even have really good daily login bonuses anymore. But that's besides the point. First off, all right. First anniversary. What did we get? Super Vegeta. 
and a base form Vegeta. You freaking kidding me? We got Gogeta, Super Saiyan after that. Okay, he was good for like the five minutes that that he he, he was lasted. good for a long time because I remember hating that card. He was good for like at least until the next summon banner came out where he dropped. I to don't like... agree with that. Okay, he was in tier Z for a little bit. Oh, video and stuff. What's yeah, video and stuff? That's that's the thing that I watch. But that's where they do all their little announcements. Go Gogeta oh, really? was yeah. Oh, okay. New content, all that. Wait, wait. No, Gogeta came first. So Gogeta was good, but then guess what? Yes, then that's also had... another problem I have. This is Gogeta... the one? Yes. No, wow. no, no. That's not the Vegito that I... That... No, but which one is the one? That's the one where you pull it and get and get Broly? Like, during the animation? No, it's for, it's for any summon. I just pulled it on Master Pack 2. You can get it on any Master summon. Master Pack 2. But I... Anyway. Okay, I'm not wait, wait, what? But, no. Oh, right here. Okay. Ooh, I've Go got G. seven single summonses. Watch, I'm gonna pull him right now. Oh, yeah. Live on the podcast. Okay. We continue. should do the same summon animation. Come on. I guess. Whatever, whatever. <laughs> um Gogeta came first, right? And he was good for the time that he lasted lasted until first anniversary, where Vegito completely <sighs> topped him. And guess what? Vegito stayed at tier Z for at least a good Half a year. Gogeta only stayed there for a couple of months. Maybe four. Okay, so it was a good card. Vegito was good. Vegito got good. He stayed at the top of Tier Z. At the top of Tier Z for half a year. No Gogeta came out. Except for the freaking... That's the, you you want to know my explanation for that? This is all part of their... Stupid st- plan. Their, their business strategy. They're trying to keep the... A cash cow for like a really bad day. Of course. If 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 that's what they're doing, which they probably they're definitely doing, considering we just got a freaking Champa and Vados that nobody freaking asked for. But if that's what they're doing, Vados they definitely need bad. to change it up. I just pulled Cell Junior. You guys are you guys are. It was a Krillin. No, no. Before that. Oh, okay. I got Krillin, but I pulled the Cell Junior before that. Oh, you got look, you got he got the Ice Planet. I that's that's Ice a Planet. really good summon. But there we go. Okay. Here Vegito, we you got Vegito Super. Then for some reason we got a Transformables Vegito Super. Boom. No so Gogetas yet. Cool. No Gogetas yet. Darn. Wait, wait, wait. Let's just see what he gets. Sparking. I got a Sparking. Trash. Well, he Android got a Zenkai. 16. I've got, he got a Zenkai. Already. He got a Zenkai. That's also another problem I have, but that's something we'll get into later, right? And the limit break. Look at that. Trash. Yes, at it is. that point. Okay, go on. Um, you got Vegito is transformable. No Gogetas. Then second anniversary, another Vegito. Guess what? It's Vegito Blue. Have we gotten hey. any Gogeta yet? Well, you did. Nobody freaking asked for the green DBZ Gogeta. Well, people and are even asking for that. Aside from that, you got an extreme Gogeta from Which, the Super Movie. Okay. Sure, it wasn't Super Saiyan. It was still Gogeta. SSJ Gogeta. The um, DBZ one is okay, fine. I'll give them that. They did that. But then you have freaking extreme Gogeta. First off, let me remind you Gogeta is stronger. I believe so. And I'm pretty sure I have my facts right. Gogeta is stronger than Vegito. They make Gogeta an extreme. And is there any extreme for Vegito? They'll probably come no. out with one. Yeah, like after that. like two years. It's been two years. The Gogeta Extreme is supposedly really, really good. Really, really good. Yeah. Until it goes back down. Until it goes back down. If they made a I Vegito mean, for Extreme. for goodness sake, no, no, it no. made the sparking tier list. No, no, no. Yes, yeah, no. okay, I get that. But if, up there. I can guarantee you, if you have a Vegito Extreme, I can guarantee you it will be in tier one or tier Z. Okay, I got. I That's got what a, they're gonna do, I and it's gonna stay that. up there. I got a kick, for like I got a, a quick moments. question. Gogeta, who's the dominant guy in Gogeta? What is it? Is it Goku or is it Vegeta? And who's who's the who's the guy that's running the show in Vegeta? Is it Vegeta or Goku? I happen to oh, go first. because they no, had, they've never really explained that, right? No. So I'm you ask me. Ticket, by the way, I. Crap. I oh. believe that Vegeta is the dominant one in, in Gogeta. Go-G- Vegeta? Gogeta. Gogeta. 
is Vegeta, Vegeta is the dominant one in Gogeta. Why? Because oh. he, especially in Super, he's he wants to out. Kill he's yeah, he's out to kill. He, he's not playing around. Whereas Vegito, he has Vegeta's moxie, and he, you know, yeah. he plays around. But I really think that's Goku because Vegito does a lot of playing around with his prey. See, I'm, and he doesn't really, you know, he's just having a fun time. He likes the fight. I like that and all, and that's generally what I like that. But like, there's a there's a point where like, if my my case with Vegito and how Gogeta is better, not in terms of power level. Okay, but that, we were talking about who's the dominant personality. I know, I know, but here. This is my case for why Gogeta is better than Vegito. I, I, I switched it off, but we'll get back to that. First off, Vegito has never finished a fight. Has he ever finished a fight? Well, okay, you didn't technically finish him with Majin Buu, but he did get Goku and Vegeta on the inside, and That's... they eventually took him down that's my but no opinion. that was not a win for vegeto technically they, even though he owned him the whole match i i get that you can be play playful and arrogant and stuff like that but there's a point where you realize there's a goal and you have to make sure you get it done no matter what because that caused them a lot of trouble um definitely in the future saga and gogeta well, however, here's here's the problem though forward. with vegeto in the future saga it's not that he was he was to a degree playing around, but then it got to that point where he was really ramping up and he was taking down Zamasu. The problem there was that the Patara could not sustain the extreme power of Super Saiyan Blue. Yeah, but my point is he was playing around and he wasted time. Gogeta, however, he's in my in my in my mind, I think that he's much wiser in terms of fighting. Like he's it seems like it seems like he knows what he's doing. He Vegito obviously knows what he's doing, but it seems like he's really set on a goal and he knows how to get there. <coughs> he's a he has Vegeta's focus. Yeah, and he really destroyed Broly. And let me remind he you, did not destroy Broly. He was very close to destroying Broly. Yeah, Broly. Broly was like what? Broly. Broly he Broly nuked to... him. Yes, he nuked him. And let me remind you, Broly is probably stronger or just as strong as Fusion Zamasu. You can make that case. Broly, Broly supposedly is is he's stronger. like the Hulk, right? Yeah. Isn't what what does it call it? The the Kari in him. Yeah. It, it grows. The Ozar. As, as as soon as he, so if he had fought a, see the the problem is, <clears throat> is that the reason why Broly that fight kept on going is because they didn't try to end the fight quickly. Because if you give Broly a chance, he learns, he gets stronger as the match goes on. So the more that, and that's why every time he transformed, they transformed, he would match them because they couldn't fi finish him off quickly. Oh, let so me connect Gogeta this. did drag it out. Let oh. me, let me connect this. Well, yeah, he dragged it out because he didn't think that Super, uh, Super Saiyan Blue would be needed. At least I, that's what I think. So you have, let me make the connection here. You have Broly. Same thing with Fusion Zamasu. The same concept. They get stronger as they... Well, not necessarily stronger. You you can't give them a chance to fight. Vegito, I don't... I know Vegito was play, being play, uh, like playful and arrogant, but he didn't really focus on that. And he didn't... He gave him a chance to regen sometimes at some points. Gogeta, however, just... Well, with Zamasu, you weren't really given a choice, but... In the in the case of Majin Buu, I will say most definitely, because he literally <laughs> he cut parts off of him off of him only to give it back to him, and then the one time he doesn't do it is like, oh, so he really can kill me if he wants to. Okay, so just to wrap this up uh, about the Vegito and Gogeta thing, Broly would have tanked that that last shot by Gogeta. By the way, maybe just maybe. saying, but Vegito isn't. Just saying. He's not thinking about the worst case scenario. Gogeta, however, is thinking about both scenarios. So, in other words, he's much wiser in devising a plan, like I said before. Anyway, let's get back to the personality thing. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so. 
personality for... It was your turn. Wait, what? It was your <laughs> turn. I went already. Look who fell off the podcasting train now. Yeah, please, you fell off first. <laughs> right now anyway, you're being who's the dominant the personality the in Gogeta? And who is in Vegito, do you think? Gogeta? Gogeta, I think it's... Honestly, I happen to believe that... Just give me some time to think about this. I think... I think that it's equal for both. And so what do you think... I think that I don't know because I don't remember Vegito too much. Sorry, I just don't. Um, Gogeta. Gogeta's kind of arrogant, though. Yeah. Mm, but Gogeta he, has. Yeah, you know, yeah he, he can be. He, he can. has that point where he can be arrogant, which is partly why I like him better. Yeah, he's he's a, he can be a little arrogant, right? He's like uh the dude from uh Warrior. The the wise dude who leads like Lord uh, Are you talking yeah. about the Hopway? Or Which guy? um what's the, the Mongo? Young June? Young June. Oh, young June. Father yeah. June. Father June, yeah. He's not arrogant. He has not a, really. He's not totally airing it. He's like super confident. He's, he's confident. Like, there's kind of a difference. Yeah, he's confident, and he's very technical with his strategies, and that's basically Gogeta. See, but the thing is with Gogeta, like, like you said, that he's he's willing to like. Well, I, I won't say he he's gonna end up kill him because he really, if he if he wanted to, like, he should have done that right away, and he didn't. No, maybe that's because Broly was was matching his level at yeah. every turn and stuff like that. But for Vegeta. um, oh crap! Now I fell off the podcast train. Ah. Uh, <laughs> what was I gonna say? There was, so he's he's kind of arrogant, but at the same time, um, it almost was like it it, it was like he was enjoying the fight, which yeah. is something that Goku would do. Because he loves fighting. That's what I meant. See, I jumped back on the podcast train. You know? <laughs> Goku loves to fight. That's his whole thing. He he doesn't care about his family. He just wants to fight. Right? That's why Piccolo's his dad. Yes, yes, I know. <laughs> so that's why I say there's I think there's a lot a little bit more of Goku in Gogeta just because yeah. he's enjoying the fight way too much. Yeah, you know, I can which you can which make that Vegeta too. really doesn't do, right? Yeah, Unless, but I feel like that's a lot more prominent in Vegeta though. I gotta go watch Vegeta. Yeah. After this podcast, I'm gonna go watch Vegeta. Vegeta is definitely definitely tries to make Like if you out. think Gogeta is cocky, wait until you watch this man in a fight. This man literally just does his best not to win the fight, just to embarrass it the heck out of the villain. <laughs> but that's like Vegeta then. Yeah, that's like Vegeta. That's Vegeta. So, so Vegeta is Vegito. Yeah, no, you can make I, that I, case. I, 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 you just made the case for him being Vegeta. The dominant. No, but because here's... Because uh, Vegeta is one that thinks that he's like, you know, God's gift to Saiyans, <laughs> right? I mean, yes, but I don't know. I just feel like he... If you compare how they approach the situation, Gogeta clearly tries a lot more than Vegito does. Okay. I, I guess we're going to have to and watch And if again. we compare who, does, who tries a lot more when it comes to fighting, I'd say Vegeta is the one who tries a lot yeah it more. really puts a lot of effort which is just like vegeta no i said goku so is the dominant personality in vegeto i know but that's what i'm saying you're saying that he tries and what, what vegeto the... doesn't they're try equal. they're oh, equal vegeta they're equal. doesn't try vegeto doesn't try vegeto. vegeta does yeah because vegeta is always trying to constantly match goku yes because goku's always blasting by him yes so vegeto doesn't do that no, he does not try a bit. That sounds like Goku. Yeah. So I guess they're equal. They're equal for both. Yeah, they're all they're equal for both of them. Yeah. There's really no 
dominant then? Because they both have the same personalities of yeah. both people. I mean, yes. I I, uh, I mean, I, I'll classic. concede to that, but I still feel like Gogeta is more along the sides of Vegeta. Actually, now that I think of it, I think that I think you may be right, actually. Because Gogeta, like, again, okay. you compare the fighting. He he has that focus. I mean, albeit he's still testing his opponent's strength, but he's not fooling around, and he's, Vegeta doesn't fool around. He's the type of dude that you you catch in a dead stare, you already know that it's over. It's over. Okay. But Vegito is like that dude who just, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to describe his character. Here, have a gun. I'm going to block the bullet. Yeah, that's that's what he that's what he'd do. I'm gonna power all the way down. I will catch the bullet. Yeah, <laughs> that's 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 Vegeta. Okay, and Gogeta's like, here's the gun. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna smash you. Okay, I guess. All right, so I guess the the end result is that we've got to go watch some Dragon Ball now. You do. You definitely need to. Like you're not gonna watch. Obviously, I'm gonna watch, but you need them. You I need, need to a the refresher most. course. It's been a while. It's been a while. Where should he start? Hmm? Whatever, whatever. Well, it depends. Are we just gonna start at the very start of Vegito's fight with Buhan, or are we still gonna try and get Super Boo in there? I'll leave that up to you. He's been watching the Majin Buu saga, but then you kind of like fell off. You didn't even get to what I think would be your favorite part. Which is? I can't tell you because then it's spoilers. spoilers. Yeah, you didn't even get to the main. You didn't even get to the part that I like most. Like, all right, all right. So we gotta we gotta catch up. You're at you're at like the absolute. So we're gonna part. we're gonna pause our office episodes to do Thank some you. Dragon Ball. Stuff. Thank you. Oh, like you don't you don't enjoy watching The Office? Yes, but you need to watch Dragon Ball Z. Michael, that's main part. Michael, Sorry. exactly. <laughs> but, you know, yeah. Beats, bears, Battlestar Galactica. <laughs> Michael. <laughs> God. Anyway, all right. So, um, we're gonna wrap this up. I think we've taken everybody's time. We told you. Yes. It. <laughs> Well, honestly, yeah, it wasn't as even. bad as I thought it would be. Yeah. I thought this would be like a complete another mess where you guys were just arguing and screaming at each other. Maybe some episode later we'll have an argument. I about... was holding back considerably. Well, yeah, oh, well, look at next, that. next time we'll have an argument next about time, whether the baby's back. trash or not. Which... That'll be interesting to record. We may not okay, but release I, it. I, 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 I like to keep my blood pressure at a certain level. What are you, the Bruce Banner? Yes. You're going to turn green? If you're Jeez. or you're like Stanley from the office and you have that beeper thing. Yeah. <laughs> is that what it is? <laughs> okay. I don't know. Well listen, the next time we do this, we'll record it. And if it's too wacky and crazy and and we just won't release it. It'll be like a bonus episode for the people who want yeah. to uh here, See unadulterated what, verbal violence. Honestly, yeah, honestly. Yeah, it, it would be verbal violence. <laughs> We're way too serious. You guys serious. have no idea. We're way too serious about this stuff. So, like, we would actually be getting into, like, some really... Do I have to sit between you guys? Probably. Probably would. Because mm. we all know that baby is kind of, like, trash. So we, we, we would need to go through See, that. it's pit traps like that where I really have to... Put the pedal to the metal, bring the reins back. You know, I'm just shoot joking, the right? messenger. Baby is well. I wouldn't necessarily be joking if baby. I wouldn't say baby's not good. The way you guys are talking, bad. The way you guys are talking, some. So, just so you guys know, we do have another podcast that we're on. We do the Get Geek podcast, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. right? So the Get Geek podcast, which you guys should um, definitely check out because. That one is more oriented toward movies, films, TV, comic books, where we actually go and we actually review them. But um, one of the hosts on that podcast, Gabe, um, me and him are interlocked in the eternal struggle 
and death battle between me loving Darth Maul and him loving Boba Fett. Who sucks, by the way. And Thank if you. you're listening to this, ha ha. Yeah. Ha ha. ha. And Gabe, you can't do anything about this. Because you're you not can't. on this podcast right now. <laughs> you'll, so. you'll listen to this with hate <laughs> and that rage. Because that why? Way. Maul is the best. Yeah. Boba sucks. Boba Django sucks. 2020. Boba sucks. Yeah, he's not that bad. He just needs to do stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He I'll actually needs I, to I, do stuff. See, quick sidebar. How can you say he's the best bounty hunter in the universe when all his in canon appearance are sitting and standing in a corner? See, but Gabe That's is exactly relying on non canonical stuff. Okay, but no one deals in that anymore, I sadly. Know. Well, he does. So anyway, so we're inter interlocked in this epic, eternal battle for the soul of Star Wars that side man. characters that died way too early <laughs> and stuff. So last thing. So that sounds like what we're doing right now with you and and. AJ. Especially Gabe. since mine is, funnily enough, a non-canon character. Wolfie, if yeah. you're listening to this, keep keep that anger. Right. Hopefully. That sounds like can we, Sith. Can we, can we we'll have like an argument or something? Maybe. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. Sounds but good. Just keep that anger. Keep the anger. Anger leads to hate. Hate leads to... I can feel suffering. your anger. Suffering leads to... It gives you strength. Something. I forgot. Purpose. What, what's, the, what's the thing? Anger leads to hate. Hate leads to suffering. Fear suffering. leads to oh, yeah. anger. Anger leads to hate. Hate leads to suffering. Arr. Anger you must have. <laughs> yeah? That wasn't good? Uh, that was a dope okay. Yoda. Uh, okay. uh, Her. Sounds like a Wookiee. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <Yoda>. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. All right. On that <laughs> note, people, this is the Cross Gen Post Podcast saying, see you later. And no, that did not sound like a Wookiee. That sounded like Yoda. Her. <laughs> Later, people. Later. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>